This is the Crazy Nature Show and I've got a question for you. What does this scrummy looking milkshake have in common with the second largest rodent in the world, the beaver? They both smell of vanilla. Beaver. Wait, what? Now, if you're ever lucky enough to catch a glimpse of these orange toothed furballs, I'm afraid you probably won't start thinking you're in an ice cream parlour. No, you'd have to get pretty close to a beaver for that. In fact, you would have to get close to a beaver's bottom of all places, as believe it or not, a beaver's booty smells pretty damn good. Beavers have a gland under their tail from which they secrete a yellowy brown slimy liquid from called castrum, which is so fabulously fragrant. And they use this pungent slime to communicate with other beavers because the castrum carries information about a beaver's health and helps make distinctions between family members or intruders. So by marking their territory with this stuff, they can tell any rival beavers to back off. These river babies also use this vanilla goo to waterproof their fur. So they're essentially wearing a coat covered in their own butt juice. <laughs> now it's not just beavers who are a fan of their own bottoms. Over the years, Humans have been quite partial to a bit of beaver butt juice too. Mmm, nice. Yeah, it was once a key ingredient in some of our favourite foods, like custard. Mmm. Some people thought it had magical healing properties and so it was used in early medicines. Ugh. Others love the smell of it so much, they made perfume with it. Ooh la la! But because of these scrumptious scent glands and the demand for beaver fur and beaver meat, about 400 years ago in Britain, beavers were hunted to extinction. This means they were completely wiped out and there were no more beavers left. And a landscape without beavers looks completely different. This is because beavers are what we call a keystone species. A keystone species is an animal which has a massive impact on its environment and all of the other animals who share it. Think of it like a gigantic game of Jenga. You take away the most important pieces, the keystone species, then the environment collapses or at least looks dramatically different. And this is exactly what happens with the beavers. They shape their watery worlds for the better. Beavers make dams. This is a wall of mud and sticks across the width of the river. And they'll spend their whole night doing this. That's because they're nocturnal, which means they sleep all day. No, no, actually. Work. That's it. Hence the saying, as busy as a beaver, these lovable rodents just don't stop. They're constantly gnawing on trees and twigs with their big, orange, sturdy gnashes, which actually never stop growing, but are filed down by all of this tree chomping. Oh my goodness, imagine if beavers ate soup. Their teeth would be out here. <laughs> oh. And it's actually this diet of trees and twigs which somehow gives them the award for the nicest smelling bottom on the planet. Now, in making these dams, beavers take down old and dead trees along the riverbank, allowing new, healthier plants and trees to grow in abundance. And behind the dams is a still, deep pool of water where, in fact, they build their home, which is called a lodge. And it's these pools which is where the magic really happens. 
They're a wildlife haven and are an ideal habitat for loads of diverse fish and amphibian species. European eels love to lurk in the nutrient-rich sediment at the bottom of the pools, and trout use the sheltered pools to hunt much smaller fish. In turn, this has cascading effects, attracting more birds who like to hunt in the pools. We see more kingfishers, more heron, and more wading birds such as snipe and teal, as the dams create new wetland habitat. Other lovable furry mammals too thrive because of the presence of the beaver, like rare water voles who find refuge from predators in the pools, and even otters have been found using unused beaver lodges, which is amazing! And something super duper exciting is that beavers are popping up all over the show, being reintroduced into the wild. So, bringing back the beaver also means bringing back all the other exciting biodiversity that comes along with them. Yippee! I don't know about you, but I've got a serious case of Beaver Fever! So next time you have a cheeky vanilla treat, just remember there probably isn't any beaver butt juice in this, but it does smell of a beaver's bottom. So have a whiff and think about how these marvellous creatures revitalise our landscape. Ah!